Hi everybody, Anime Night here, I, Anime Night Nights 92 here, I am back with a new video. This is a brand new episode, with a very brand new figure. I'm taking a break from um, the uh, Sailor Moon one, and uh, I'm trying to get more figures in, rather than just stick with um, the Sailor Moon ones. However, I will get back to those later on, at in later episodes so this one is probably this one i've been wanting to do for quite some time i just haven't had the chance or um the time to do it because i was so busy with life and everything this one is hayate yagami from magical girl lyrical nana ota a's and it's spinoff of um, <clears throat> Innocence. Now, Hayate Yagami is a, was an orphan. And then she became, later on, in, as she grew older and everything, she became head of the Yagami, uh, fa of the Yagami family. Or some kind of position like that. It, it's a little hard to explain. Anyway, she, she's also a shopkeeper of old bookshop Yagam Yagamido. I hope I said that right. Keep in mind my my pronunciation of like Japanese store names and and all that fun stuff in the anime is kind of it's a work in progress, but I'm getting better. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> she her avatar is a Lord of Glory and her two weapons are this is the staff, the magic staff of magic staff Sherko et uh, <clears throat> Sherworth Kerez. I hope I said that correctly. If not, that's okay. I gave it my shot. And the book is actually a magic card binder, uh, Tomo of the Night Sky. Her avatar is a rare one with very high, with superior long range attacks. <clears throat> and she's also the mistress of Rhine Force and Woke and Woken Woke and Ritter. Ritter, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, I, I'm getting better at my, at my name, at the namings and everything. She first was introduced, now this is where it kind of gets a little confusing, but I'll clarify. I'm going to give this a little clarification. She first appeared, well, she was first introduced actually in Magical Girl Lyrica Nana Oda A series. But she was, she made her full appearance, like her full character and everything in the spinoff of Innocence. I know that is confusing, believe me. It, it's kind of hard to get used to seeing a character being introduced than the full appearance. It, it, it's so mind-boggling. But I digress. Both are great animes. <clears throat> oh my goodness. But however, but moving on. This figure is actually from the company Volk. It's a Jap it's a Japanese based company. This is from Japan. Not the made in China stuff we see nowadays. Japan authentic on authenticity. And <clears throat> it's actually um it's also called it, it's also Mo Mo Core number ten in the Naho Strikers collection. But I love how this figure looks. I mean, I love how the staff looks, how the book looks. I wish I could remove the book, but it, trust me, it, it was a bit difficult putting this together. And I'm trying to hold, to hold this as best as I can so that way it doesn't fall. She doesn't fall over and everything goes flying. I do like the wings, however, though I have one tiny complaint. It's her, um,. It's her sacred, uh, her sacred gear. Apparently, it's too. Uh, uh, actually, that's actually pretty close enough to the anime. It's close enough, so you know what? Scratch that complaint. Everything's good. 
though I kind of I kind of see why they I'll have to look at the at the photo and the actual figure itself and compare the two but I digress the figure is really good and I like how the how the stand looks I wish oh, that's what it looks like I wish I could do a better one, but that's as far as, that's as best as I can get. That's the best single I can do, because this is one genuine figure. Now, I got this figure at um, a place called Bookman's, where I first got my uh, uh, Shishomaru figure um, many moons ago. And I got this one at Bookman's for a really great price. I thought they were crazy when they put $32, because I looked online, she's over, give or take, she's over $100. However, I did not know this at the time, but I already unboxed her, already have her up, set up and everything, and I love it. And unfortunately, the box is no longer with me, but that's okay. She's still going to be displayed as is, I am not changing my mind, I am settled on everything however i highly recommend getting this figure if you are a fan of magical lyrica Na naruto naoda uh naoda or uh non naoda there we go naoda there we go this is and it's actually a very good anime i actually enjoyed it the, na, yagimi is one character who is so mysterious she's like she doesn't know like the mysteriousness behind how she got the experience and already graduated from the university is the big mystery for me but i like i like it when characters have that mystique to them it adds more to the character already and it's like ooh, that grabbed my attention anyway guys that will do it for figure showcase fridays episode 38 comment below Leave a like or subscribe. Share this video among your friends or who or who else or whoever loves anime figures. And <clears throat> next week will be episode thirty nine. I look forward to to um <clears throat> to unveiling the next figure. This one I kept under wraps. Like I literally kept it under wraps i did not want i wanted to keep the surprise so hopefully this was a really good surprise for everybody i will see you all later oh and for oh one last thing i'll be um doing my let's play really really soon and i'm open to streaming with you guys on ps4 i'm not sure what games i have but um I will probably update everybody on that so we can game whenever. Anyway, guys, you have a blessed night and enjoy everything that's to come. Bye, guys.